Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome to the Daily Collective Message. So, when I pulled out these cards, I just sat here and reflected for a minute, well, a, a few minutes, because there's a lot of energy going on. And I can't help but to see all the yellow in the cards, which yellow spiritual wise with the color yellow it speaks of creativity happiness it promotes clarity okay but it also signifies intellectual development and i feel that a lot of you are going through some type of development here intellectually okay and spiritually as well you know you also have blue which discusses emotions but we'll go ahead and get started. I, and it's like I just, I kept hearing, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. <laughs> and something's being presented to you and it's what you wanted, but it's not in the form that you thought it was coming in. For a lot of you, okay? So with the judgment card here, it's like... You're going to be hearing from your higher self loud and clear. And it's time to release any sense of fear, avoidance, self-limiting beliefs. Like stop procrastinating is what I kept hearing. And it's like life goes through cycles. Everything you've been through wasn't for nothing. It was to make you see your value, your worth, your potential. And it's about, you know, releasing and forgiving and maybe you need to forgive yourself or forgive someone else or you take that as it resonates, okay? But it's like, are you going to answer the call here? Because as we all know, trumpets are not, they're very loud instruments. instruments. So something is being presented to you or it's, you know, there is some kind of major decision that needs to be made here. And the judgment card is the number 20, right? And I really like seeing that you have the fool here for advice. And we'll get into this in a minute. But with the judgment card as the number 20, it's, it's about unity. It's about reconciling, reconciling conflicts and challenges surrounding us within ourself. But 20 also reduces to the number two, right? And you have the two of pentacles. So representing, you know, balance and choice. And it's time to come into balance with yourself, but a decision needs to be made. And there's just a feeling of going back and forth with this and being unsure. With the Eight of Wands, yes, that speaks of communications, communication coming in. But again, I feel like a decision needs to be made pretty quickly. It's like maybe you have a time frame on when you have to have a decision made by, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles, it's like there's a contemplation to make some type of move. Whether it's a physical move, whether it's a career move whether it's to move away from something or someone. But I'm going to tell you, like I'm getting a sense for a lot of you, this is dealing with some type of career, with travel, commuting. You take it as it resonates. Because I do get the strong sense financial blessings are coming in, and it's going to be quick. It's going to be quick. And, and again, it's like just getting that sense of not... not realizing like you manifested this but again it's not with what you saw it to be or how you you didn't imagine it's going to play out in this manner okay and realize this could be happening now it could have happened or it can be predictive and for i feel like most of you this is going on now or it's it's coming all right with the imprisonment card, 
you know, there is a sense of being trapped with whatever or whoever you're dealing with in some sort. But it's like, it's like, you know, this could definitely mean you just, and I get the sense like you're trapped within your thoughts. You, it's like there's fear, there's loneliness, there's isolation. And someone or something is making you feel, and this could be yourself, you know, making yourself feeling restricted. Like you can't get out of something. And when you reduce the two and nine, that is a seven, which is the chariot, which speaks of balance and moving forward. So there's a heavy, heavy message here regarding movement. Okay. Again, it could be physical as well as making, definitely making some, it's, it's about making some type of major change in your life. And with the fear card here, it says, I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So, again, I feel like a lot of you need to believe in yourself here. Because with the fool, it's like dive in and take the risk. There's a sense of needing to be spontaneous, and for a lot of you, that's hard because it's like a lot of you need to, to like know a plan or have a plan. So it's very scary and hard, but no, when things are scary and hard, that's when you know you are being tested and this is like time to take action to grow. Embrace the change. Let go of the self-doubt. Let go of the fears. Because you're being called to something intentionally here. With the Page of Pentacles, it's like he's in this empty field. And you can see how colorful the field is. And it's like building something new. And it's not enough to dream about it. It's time to make it happen. So commit to it. There's a turning point here. Again, you've manifested. It's time to rise and take charge here. You know, a lot of you, this is surrounding career with some kind of move. With the Nine of Cups, you know, it's like, I got that sense. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> you know, open yourself up. You're at a stage of completion. Nine speaking, nines are speaking of something's coming to a completion. Something's coming to an end. But a new phase is beginning. A new beginning is coming where you're going to learn. And it's going to require you to take a risk, take that leap of faith. You know, the fool also travels lightly. So don't, again, take, don't, it's like, don't, don't be naive. Because I feel like some of you are going to put another person or a situation or something else or you're contemplating this with like, okay, is it this, this thing or this opportunity? Don't be naive about it because you know intuitively, like you can feel, like again, with the judgment card, your inner self, your inner voice is like going to be loud and clear here. And your doubts and fears are an illusion because you're creating those yourself. The universe has presented you with is, is presenting you with this opportunity. It's like be grateful for this opportunity because the again the universe is offering some type of abundant opportunities here for you. Because it's like it's time to accept good things. It's like your time to shine. You know, yellow is representative of the sun. It's time for you to shine your light. Believe in yourself. Don't get caught up and tangled in feeling restricted, in fears, you know, because that's self-sabotaging and self-limiting beliefs that we put in our head. Are we good enough? Is this really for real? Is this really going to happen? 
let all that go and go with the flow. Okay, so I hope this helped. Please like, subscribe, comment. I greatly appreciate it. Have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.